What's going on you guys? This is Andy and welcome to another episode of Andy's Cuts. The last couple of episodes I've been working on was only for barbers. Well, this one is gonna be for everybody. And my question is, have you guys ever had trouble finding the right hair product for you? Well, this is what I'm gonna talk about today. How to find the right hair product for your hair. I know it's really hard to find a product that is perfect for your hair because I've been there. I used to have a really hard time just figuring out, okay, is this product what I need or is this product what I need until I became a barber and styled over 100 people's hair that I finally figured out which one I liked the best. And which one I like the best for my hair, their hair, anybody. So what you guys need to ask first is what style are you trying to go for? The style will matter a lot. Just like you guys, it's not like I have the perfect hair. My hair is really thick. My cowlick up here, the thing that swirled that I told you guys about last time, that thing is out of control. I spent years trying to make my hair slick back and I finally gave up because I admit that my hair cannot do a full slick back. And I accepted it, you know, uh, I try to figure out something I can do with my hair and the right product that works for me. I actually use different type of products depending on what style I'm going for. Right in my hand, I have three different type of product, all by the same company, Bird. They were kind enough to send me this so I can do this video for you guys and show you guys the difference between these products. This one right here, the yellow one, this one's a light hold pomade. Inside, it's yellow. Deep inside, you can see a picture of a bird, which is kind of cool. I really can't put my finger on it, but it smells really good. I wouldn't mind this in my hair. This is a nice size, it's 1.5 ounce, which can last you a really long time if you know how to apply it to your hair. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. So I'm gonna show you how to use those three products and how to apply them to your hair. And yeah, my hair isn't anything fancy either. You see, it's super thick and it's, it's a mess. Especially that I have hat hair all day, but first thing you guys need to do is to wash your hair out. What Bird also has is shampoo and conditioner. I'm gonna use these to shampoo my hair. They smell great, I've already tried them. If you guys are interested, I'll leave the links to all these products below. Follow them on Instagram, follow them on Facebook, and check them out. So why don't we go ahead and get that started? For this part, you're gonna need a blow dryer and a comb. First of all, you always wanna blow dry to the way you wanna style. I usually comb forward and over. What I'm gonna do with this product is, I'm gonna have a light hold where it's not too shiny, but it's not too dry at the same time. For those of you guys who's been asking me this whole time how I style my hair, you're about to find out. This is exactly it. After I finish blow drying with hot air, I cool it down with cold air just to freeze it there because pomade usually melts and gets weaker when it's too hot. So keep your hair cool. Other than that, you can already see that my hair has its volume it needs. The style is pretty much there. Now we're just gonna apply the product. This one's gonna be a light hold pomade. This is how the inside looks like. <sighs> Smells nice. It feels really soft. You don't need that much, you guys. Look how much I dug out. And this is how much is on my finger. Start little, then add more when you need. You don't ever want to over apply because then you have to restart the whole thing. I hate when I over apply product, it, that part sucks. So what I do is I work at the back of your hair first just to keep everything down. I'm not even really applying product, I put it on my hand and I'm just lightly brushing all the stragglers that come down. And then afterward, I use what's left over to push up the front. Since this is a light hold, I don't want to have such a big pompadour. I just want to keep everything up. This product is super light, you guys. So just be sure that when you do use this product, you're not trying to get a pompadour. It's not gonna work. 
So what I do with this product right here is I just kind of keep it the hair over and above. So if I want to brush it throughout the day, if it falls down a little bit, I just run my finger right through it and it comes out pretty nice. I think that was like about three to four minutes, maybe five. You see how it's falling down? This is the kind of look that you like if you have nice soft hair. If your hair is really thick, you don't want to use anything like this one. It's gonna eventually fall forward. The good part is you can always brush it back up and it stays just like how it is. Pretty easy, I like this product. It feels super nice and natural in the hair. It's not too sticky at all. Anyways, we're done with this product. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the next product. This next one is gonna be the classic Firm Hold Pomade. Unlike the other one, this one's white so you can't really see the inside, but it's a stronger hold. We're back again with the blow drying. See my hair? This is how my hair is naturally. Uh, not exactly like this, but it does fall over like this. So to prevent that from happening, blow drying is your best friend. This is how I usually want my hair is to stand up like that. When it stands up like this, I can just use the product to hold it down. Pretty easy. Ooh, this one feels a lot thicker which is good, it's good, it's stronghold, it's supposed to be thick. This time I'm gonna use about that much. The product feels a little bit stickier. You can feel it sticking on the hand. This time I apply what I needed in the back. I'm actually gonna get more, about that much more and apply it into the front. I can already tell that from applying this product to my hair, that for my hair, this product is perfect. My hair is a little bit thicker. If you guys feel like you have thick hair, the firm hold is the exact one you should get. Yeah. I definitely like this a lot better. I really like the way this one looks. It smells really nice, but since it's pomade, it will get weaker when it's hot. So just be aware of that. I don't usually use a comb for styling my hair. I always style it with just my hands because that's what gives it that natural look. But if you want, you can use a comb and brush it forward a little bit just to get all the cowlick down, okay? And brush this to the side there. Use your hand to take down all the stragglers. And then the front, you can pump it up like this. If you really want a nice pump, I would recommend you to add a little bit more than what I just did and just apply it to the front right there because the front, the back is good. You see how it lays down? The front, you're gonna need to comb up and over. And I'm gonna show you This is a different look definitely than what I showed you a couple minutes ago. This right here is a uh, pompadour and I usually like it pump about this height. Some people like it lower, some people like it really high. This is the perfect height for me and I could do it higher, just my hair is kind of short that it won't go any higher than this. But it is possible, it is possible. And with this style, it works with any hair. Like I've done it with every hair. The only one that it doesn't work is if you have curly hair. If you have curly hair, like super curly hair, then you might wanna use the next product. Matt, this product isn't just for curly hair, it's for anybody who wants like that natural look, that bed hair look. This one is a medium hold. I usually do this if you want like a frohawk, where it's just the top, but it's super natural. All those Caesar cuts that you've been seeing lately, the skin fade on the side with the hair just combing forward all this product right here. I do it too with my hair. Remember this hair right here, you guys. See how it's perfectly shaped and everything is just perfectly done. I can already feel this product getting pretty hard. Just remember this because it's gonna look completely different with this product. For matte products, you want your hair completely dry. You don't want it wet at all. If it is a little bit wet, continue blow drying your hair. You want it completely dry. It feels like clay. Again, I start with the back. For this product, every matte product out there, I've realized when you see, let's say, yeah, I'm gonna come up close, I'm gonna apply. You see these white mark right there? The product is just there. That doesn't mean you're doing it wrong or it doesn't mean anything at all. Just keep styling that part and the product will go away. It should have a nice dry look to it. All right, with this product right here, I feel like I can add a lot of volume to my hair. And because it's a matte product, you can definitely, let's say your hair was like this throughout the day. You know, it fell down, that's what it looks like. You can always just run your finger right through your hair. Because it's a matte product, it won't 
break apart. See how it just goes right back to where I had it? Any single time your hair just falls down, you can apply it right back up. People have long hair, undercut, whatever. You apply this product to your hair and you can brush it all the way back like this and it'll stay. See how my hair continuously go back to where it was. We can do it again and brush it. That's the cool part. I think matte product works for long hair really well and it works for medium hair really well. Any hair that you guys want that bedhead look, this product is the right one for you. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so those are the three different products that a lot of company has. Bird, these are their products. And depending on what style you guys go for, those are the products that would be right for you. Dry look, bedhead, hit up the mat. Your hair is really thick and strong, use the firm hold. If you guys just want something really light, thin hair, if you just wanna push it up and wash it out at the end of the night, use the light hold. Those products right there will help you guys. After using those products, don't just give up right away. Sometimes you have to practice using that products because I've styled my hair for many years and I've styled so many people's hair that I'm used to using these different type of products. If you guys aren't used to it, practice it. Sometimes it's not the strength that you guys need, Sometimes it's just the blow dryer because as you guys saw, the blow dryer actually shaped my hair a lot more than a lot of the products did. You don't have to use a lot of product. I hope you guys like this video. Leave it in the comment below which product you guys would like or what you guys think your hair needs. Or if you guys wanna ask me any question about your hair and what products you guys need, leave it in the comment below. You guys know I'll get to them. So I'll talk to you guys down there. Hit that like button if you guys like this video. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll leave in the description where you can get these products. Hit them up, check out the Instagram, check out their Facebook. They got some pretty dope stuff. That's all for today's episode. I will see you guys next week. Peace out.